control parameters. So you can set this to exactly what you need. I don't think you actually need the this for it, but it does make things a little bit easier getting through the menus. So you got your Cat5 cable, your Ethernet. I also added two pieces, uh, just cut a couple one inch pieces of the solar wires plugs because I will not be able to finish this today. It's going to rain soon.
All right, all finished. Already loving it. It's just got a lot more information and a lot more parameters to work with. I still need to go through the menu. There's so many settings on this thing. Also, this thing records all the data and can be pulled onto a laptop or something, which is really cool. Added in another switch, it went up to lows and got something a little beefier. Last switch I had got the plastic uh, lever on it, got broke off, and it's just a little cheaper. Kind of, it's a metal, metal lever on there, it'll be less likely to get broken. A couple of these uh, four gauge lugs from uh, Lowe's. It was the smallest they had. No, these were six gauge lugs. The bigger ones were four uh, four gauge. Um, so I got the six gauge. Went through three different dies to squish them down enough to crimp onto a ten gauge. Uh, they're the only things that Lowe's had, but it seemed to work out pretty well. I decided to drill out the hole to make it fit over these bolts. Put some heat shrink on them.
So lots to learn on this new controller. Got all sorts of different things you can adjust. You can test the operation, put a load on it. You got all the control parameters. There's uh, quite a bit of stuff to go through. I'm going to familiar familiarize myself with it and get back to you guys and show you what I come up with. Um, just plug and play right now seems to be doing pretty good with keeping the batteries charged. Um, already can tell it's just worlds of difference between the uh, PWM controller. Which Waste of money getting a PWM controller. These are so much more worth it.